What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so the other day somebody posted on one of my videos and asked if I could do a video on um, my uh, symptoms that I had before I was diagnosed with heart failure. What are those things? And so um, I'm going to talk about my symptoms, uh, two sets of my symptoms. So the first set is one before I found out I was had heart failure and the second one is that limbo in between that after I got out of the hospital um, I lived life great and then all of a sudden I had more symptoms down the road that I went in and got my LVAD so I'm gonna try to keep this video very short and not try to get too much um, into the background story you guys know my story if you ever want to hear that I'm more than welcome to share that all right so symptoms wise um, I have heart failure uh, I have an LVAD and that's what I live my life with right now. All right, so the first thing back in the day when I, before I found out, I had, um, I was around 240 pounds, okay? I was lifting heavy weights and I was very strong. I was getting my numbers up and I'll show a picture here, somewhere around here of how I looked before I went into the hospital and uh, before I knew I had heart failure. But um, I thought that that was all muscle. Yeah, I was, don't get me wrong, I was eating a lot and I was chubby. But it was more, I was into powerlifting, which comes to territory. There's some powerlifters that have a uh, size, you know what I mean? So, hold on there. I'm trying to make sure I have all my notes here for you guys. So, uh, I was very swollen. And why? It's because I had fluid buildup. So, that's one of the symptoms there. It's fluid buildup. I had a lot of swelling in my extremities and my, my limbs here, my wrists. My ankles were very swollen. I have hereditarily small legs. So my calves were always small. And um, at this time, my legs were huge. And I thought it was just because I was lifting great. My numbers are great. It was just growing. My strength was there. But my ankles are just so big. And what ended up happening was, in a way itself, was go ahead and if you take your, for example, let's pretend that my wrist is my ankle. You would press down on your ankle and then you would take your finger off. If you could see the indent, like indentation of your finger, then there's a good chance that you have a lot of fluid buildup, and that's a sign of heart failure. It just means that your body's not pumping, your heart's not pumping all that fluid out of your body, it's just going and sitting in areas around your body, and that's what happened with me. So that water just was just there, and my ankles are just swollen. Um, another thing was, um, I was very tired all the time. So when I say tired, it wasn't just sleepy. It was like if I was getting up out of bed, um, it wasn't like I, I felt like, not sleepy tired, but if I got out of bed, just sitting up to go to the restroom, like waking up from a full night's sleep, waking up to go to the restroom, I felt like I ran a marathon. I had to catch my breath just getting up out of the bed. Nothing awkward or anything, just getting out of the bed was very tough for me. And um, I was very tired and I had to pay, I was panting. I had to catch my breath and then go to the bathroom and whatever I did what I had to do, right? So that stunk. Um, that was one of the things. So uh, also what came with being tired was losing sleep. So I was um, not sleeping very well during the night. Reason why is because I would lay down flat and I would cough a lot. And um, that's what kind of brought me to this, took me to the doctor in the first place was a cough. I got sick, um, you know, a long time ago just from a regular cold type thing, and it was a rough one. And after that full week, it went away, and I went on with my life. Well, next thing you know, this cough lingered and stayed around. So I didn't know how to, I didn't know what the issue was. I've had coughs linger around before, but this one just wasn't going away. It got to the point where I was trying to talk to people, and I would just continue, I would just cough. I couldn't hold a conversation with anybody, because I would get this itch in my throat when I would start coughing. And then when I would breathe, you would feel hear this gargling noise in my throat. And it was pretty much, I had so much fluid build up, I had no idea. There was fluid pretty much being, it was in my lungs. So, um, so when I laid down, think of it like a, I'm gonna use this syrup bottle for example. Think of it this way, I was, I had to sleep sitting up. All right, so you see all the syrup? Pretend it's water, okay? So pretty much, that's how it felt. So. Since all this fluid was in there, if I were to sleep like this, you notice that that fluid is starting to come up here, I would constantly get up coughing, 
gasping for air. I felt like I was drowning by doing this. So what I had to do was, when the doctor would ask me how many pillows I, I sleep with, this is what they mean. So let's say for example, I put a pillow, I said I slept with one pillow. If you notice that helped a little bit. But the more fluid build up, the more fluid that came in, it just made it worse. So I had to sit up higher. And, high, and more fluid came up, it just got so bad, I was, sit, I was sleeping like this, sitting up. And just to even try to get a good night's sleep, very difficult to do. And um, yeah, now at that point now, I wasn't getting a good night's sleep when I was sitting up like this, and it was just very tough. So I was, so basically, if you can't sleep flat, that's something to look into, okay? So that was one of the things that I, um, one of my symptoms, I just couldn't sleep straight. The other thing was I was very nauseous all the time. I would throw up um, a lot and uh, eating food, whatever, I just ended up started throwing these things up. Uh, either if it got past my dinner, for example, if I made it past my lunch, if I, if I didn't throw up my lunch, or if I had an empty stomach, I was still throwing up. I would throw up this vial and it was like yellow and very acidic and it tasted like crap. <coughs> um, hate the sound, make it sound nasty, but that's what it is. And that was the other symptom I had with throwing up and being nauseous all the time. Uh, what took me into the hospital was my cough though. Uh, that took me to the doctor. I said, I can't take this no more. I don't know why I'm coughing so much. That's when we had, we took it in. And um, I went in, they diagnosed me. And then when I came out of the hospital, they fixed everything. And I fixed everything, but they kind of got my levels right. They drained me. They got rid of all the fluid out of my body. And now it's all gone. Sorry, my dog's been waiting for a ball. Anyways, so that's with that. After that, I was on medication, blood pressure medication, things like that, and going on. Um, what took me back into the second time? What symptoms did I catch? Well, I was doing great after the first visit. And then um, a couple of years later, uh, I felt symptoms again. And I knew these symptoms because we just had this go through, I just went through this, you know, before. So what popped up again? Well, I, this time I didn't have swelling in my body. And that's why it was kind of iffy. But what was the red flag was me basically uh, <coughs> getting tired. And I was getting tired again, just getting up, walking from point A to point B. That's where I started picking up the extra symptoms of my heart failure and that's when I said I need to go to the doctor. I just told my doctor, I said, look, I just want to be safe and um, be cautious here and um, I just want to let you guys know the symptoms I had and that's when we went into the hospital and then we found out that it was getting worse. Now um, I just want to keep you guys in mind how L uh, heart failure works is it doesn't get any better, okay? so. That was one of the things, like, I'm a believer, guys, and I'm straight up with you. I believe in God, and I believe in the, you know, I believe in healing and, and things like that. I believe in those things. But um, on the science side, when it comes to the doctors, you know, this is how they explained it to me, okay? So, for example, let's say your heart starts off here, right? And all of a sudden, you start getting heart failure. And your heart basically goes down, 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 and you're here. So now you're not doing too well. You feel rough here, right? say there's rock bottom down here well um, if you started up here at one point right and now you're down here and all of a sudden over time let's say you start getting better you'll go up but then you'll never get back to here no matter what and then you will get up here and then you'll get worse again and then here's a crazy thing so now where that last peak you're at is now where you're at and then um, let's say you're down here and you get better you'll never get back up to that last peak it's constantly going to go down constantly going to go down <clears throat> never getting back to the peak your heart was you know the last time around and that's my problem and that's where i had to get involved with my lvad i didn't want to admit it um but you know i was pretty much dying there and um, those are my symptoms guys i don't want to get too more deeper into it in my story i would love to but I want to keep this video short and I want to address my symptoms. So just to recap very quickly, um, that was swelling of the limbs. Check your, you know, making sure you have no extra fluids there in your wrists, your ankles and things like that. Also checking your stomach. If your mid region is swollen with fluid, you can tell. <coughs> you know, if you have a food belly, that's something else. But you know, you hear fluid, you can hear it. 
that's a good sign your stomach's holding those things, which explains the vial you're throwing up if you're getting that. And also nausea was, like I said, the vial, those type of things. I started throwing those things up. Losing sleep, I was coughing in the middle of the night. I couldn't get up. And when I get up, I felt coughing. I was, just, I was pretty much drowning. Pretty much think about the, the Aunt Jemima bottle, right? Um, and the last thing was um, sleeping, the coughing. Uh, that was just brutal. Just constant coughing, constant coughing. And it was very rough on me. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that was my symptoms that I caught. And um, I'm sure there's plenty more out there, but that's what I had to deal with. And I was an athlete, I was very much into lifting weights, so I never thought that I was having issues. I just thought I had a cold, and that was it. That's what the doctors diagnosed it with. They said that a cold, it was a virus that attacked my heart. And then that's when I started catching all these symptoms, and then that's what happened. So guys, that's my story, that's my symptoms, and I thank you guys so much. I hope it helped you guys out. I love talking about this stuff. If you ever have any questions, I, I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you from experience what I went through myself. And um, I'm always happy to, to share it with you guys. Um, I really thank you guys. Even if I get 10, 15 views, it's 10, 15 lives I touched with my situation with heart failure. And that's huge to me because ultimately that's potentially saving lives. I mean, that's huge. How many people can say that they saved 15 lives or one life? You know what I mean? Not everybody gets to do that. And that's the blessing I have with sharing these things with you. And I don't do it to get sympathy. I do it to help you guys out um, because I knew for a fact I didn't want to listen to anybody when I was going through my situation. But um, I'm hoping that you guys will listen to me, knowing that I'm a young guy, very upbeat, and I'm living life to the fullest. And I want you guys to be where I'm at, get past your hurdle, and live life to the fullest too as well. So guys, I thank you so much. You guys have a blessed week. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Um, God bless. See ya. Peace.